Well, this morning has definitely featured some areas of showers. We had a warm day yesterday and the showers are going to continue throughout the day. Here is what that looks like right now on the Warren weather camera where uh, you can see some wet roadways out in the background. There have been multiple rounds of showers starting at about midnight last night and then continuing, of course, into this morning. Temperatures are already pushing to 50 degrees there in Bristolville, upper 40s everywhere else, 49 in Canfield, 47 in Grove City. The Storm Team 27 Viper radar does show an area of showers that's just about to push into the Youngstown area there. So there are going to be multiple rounds of showers. Just take the rain gear out there with you this morning. You're going to need it pretty much throughout the rest of the day. The future tracker shows these multiple rounds of showers. Now, not every single location is going to be seeing rain at the same time. And in fact, there's going to be multiple periods of time where you actually have uh, some dry weather. Uh, temperatures today, actually, I think they'll be a, little, a few degrees warmer than this in the mid 50s. It's going to be another really warm day. The future tracker continues to show areas of showers uh, pushing through uh, the valley by tonight. But then the increase in coverage and intensity of precipitation shows up by tomorrow morning. Temperatures staying around 50 degrees for a low. The heavier rain continues even until about 10 or 11 o'clock, maybe even noon tomorrow before uh, the end intensity and coverage starts to taper off some, but then notice some colder air actually moves into the valley by about two or three o'clock here. You can see temperatures actually dropping off into the 40s by the end of the day. As far as rainfall totals go, the valley is going to see anywhere between about half an inch to three quarters of an inch of rain. However, there will be some heavier rainfall totals over here in the eastern parts of our viewing area. Stoneboro, Grove City, Newcastle, and East Liverpool could all see around an inch, maybe even a little bit over an inch of rainfall as we head into the day on Thursday. So planning ahead today's high temperatures in the low to mid 50s. I've actually increased the high temperature up to about 55 degrees. Better rain chances show up tonight and last into early tomorrow morning. Now, it's been no secret that December has been warm. It's the fifth warmest December so far. That's through Christmas Eve. It does not include even the really warm day that we had on Christmas Day, a temperature of 60 degrees tied for the third warmest Christmas day of all time here in Youngstown. And there is some cooler air, though, on the way. Obviously, I showed that cold front being some cooler temperatures by a late Wednesday. Thursday and Friday will be cooler. It's not going to be exactly that cold out there, though. Uh, the temperatures will still be in the 40s, which is above average for this time of year, but temperatures will be right around average as we head into the weekend there. The seven day outlook shows rain showers likely once again Wednesday. Some smaller shower chances Thursday and Friday. Temperatures in the 40s, upper 30s by Saturday, and then maybe even the chance of a few flurries as we head into New Year's Eve and New Year's Day.